Hello everybody, yes it's me, Ghost Critic, back again with my Wednesday comic book pull list video. And if I had any concerns about that shelf up there being um, relatively empty and having lots of short weeks on my pull, um, this week has put pay to that. I have 13 books on my pull list this week. I almost cried. But saying that, I also bought a huge stack of um, back issues because he was finally sorted out his kind of 50p boxes and he's starting filling up all his, his shelves with them. So I had a look through that and I found uh, an amazing um, run, gaps here and there obviously, of a certain title. I'll be doing another video for that just to show them off in all their glory um, and that will be coming in the next couple of days. So look out for that. Um, what else has been happening? Well, on Friday I I uploaded another comic book haul from a trip out I had to Sheffield. If you've not checked that out yet, please go and have a look and see the comic book goodness I got there. On Sunday I uploaded my weekly comic book review. Thank you to everyone who's supporting that. If you're new to my channel, I only ever used to do comic book reviews uh, monthly and I just picked out my five favourite of that month. But I'm going back to my old ways um, from previous years here on YouTube where I'm going to be doing them weekly and they're going to get uploaded on a Sunday. Roughly about tea time, dinner time, whatever you want to call it, at um, uh, in British time. So about six or seven o'clock then. Uh, I, I feel much more comfortable doing that rather than speeding through them but my books to upload on a Friday which is what I used to do. Now I'm just opening up my iPad and my emails just to let you know that I had I think it was about four or five new subscribers over the last seven days. If you're new to my channel if you subscribe in the next seven days you will get a shout out in next Wednesday's video and if you do uh, regular video uploads I will also put a link to your channel in the description bar below and point people in your direction and hopefully you'll get some new subscribers as well. Um, so looking down the list the first person to subscribe to me in the last seven days was TMH Music, spelt with a Z. Obviously put a link to their channel because they do, if I remember rightly, they do kind of like music arrangements. I think it's their original work. So if you want some music to be playing in the background while you're reading your comments, good idea to go and look at their channel. Then we've got Daniel Scott. Um, then we had David Brach, I think it's Brach or it could be Brach, thank you very much for joining my channel. And also Huey's Comic Hideout, he has a lot of videos of kind of like eBay hauls, very eclectic tastes, looks a really good channel, I've already subscribed to him and I've been watching a few of his um, back catalogue videos. Go and check his videos out, see if you enjoy them. I'm sure plenty of you will that love a good comic book haul. So go and check all of those people out. Um, now, yes, on to the comics this week. Um, like I said, there are 13 of them. Ridiculous amount. Um, here we go. I'm going to start with DC this week and we're beginning the new storyline of Wonder Woman. Uh, this is issue 15 and it's called The Truth. We've had the lies, now we come to the truth. Uh, this is the first issue without, I think it's Nicholas Scott on art. Instead we have Liam Sharp and um, just looking through it casually, uh, there are some looking, some great looking uh, pages in there. So, and it does appear that we've got um, poor Wonder Woman uh, locked in a lunatic asylum or, or an asylum, uh, a mental home of some description. So how has she got there? Well, we'll find out when we read that. 
the other DC book I'm currently picking up is The Flash, issue number 15, the second part of A Rogue's Reloaded. Um, I've already said, told you about my thoughts on the first issue of this. I said it was a great kind of jumping on point if you didn't know about The Rogue's, much like me. It did a great job, Joshua Williamson, setting up the um, the history and the kind of the origins of the team and where they currently stand now and um, we had a great um, cover with uh, the ice character I've forgotten what it's called um, but this time we've got um, we've got heat wave on the cover here so I think we're going to get a, a few covers um, highlighting all of the rogues that are going to be causing our flash um, a lot of trouble over the next few months no doubt. Um, the one that I think a lot of us are looking forward to begins its 12 issue maxi run. It is Commandy Challenge. Very much looking forward to this. Commandy, one of the best Jack Kirby creations he ever did. One of my firm, firm favourites. This is um, a kind of round robin kind of story where you're going to get different artists, different writers picking up the story from the end of this and going on and trying to resolve whatever cliffhanger we have in here. I'm hoping inside here will be lots of um, kind of Kirby-esque artistic homages um, and just solid storytelling. We've got in this, I think there are like two stories in here from what I see. We've got one written by Dan Abner, one written by Dan Didio. We've got art by Eaglesham and Giffen with um, letters and art and colours and all that by Coblish and Hi-Fi. I can't wait to get stuck in this. This will be on the top of my pile to read. Um, really looking forward to that. Uh, moving on to our Marvel books, it's uh, Jason Aaron Chris Pacello's Doctor Strange. Last issue we saw the, um, obviously the big bad after running the corner of a few of his kind of big major villains, it's Dormammu um, and the return of more Dormammu. So it'll be interesting to see how Stephen Strange copes with defeating his his arguably his greatest enemy with his power set now being so limited and having had a magic pretty much eradicated from the Marvel Universe so exciting uh, Charles Sewell continues his run on Daredevil we had a little glimpse of bullseye and it seems to be from this cover that he's going to be uh, shown a great deal more so that should be an interesting story see how daredevil uh, and bullseye kind of fit together in our post secret wars universe i've read that they're finally going to start um, after alluding to it very uh, a few times over the last few issues um, the how daredevil and his um, alter ego matt murdoch have kind of made sure that the world doesn't know who daredevil is anymore um, and that storyline is, is coming very close now and i'm really excited to know how marvel have done it and is it going to be a big letdown or are they going to do something really exciting and special with that uh, extraordinary x-men jeff lemire issue 18 what a surprise it's an inhumans versus x-men tie-in just like in canny inhumans was last week which kind of really had nothing to do with it you were expecting like big fights between the inhumans and the x-men but what you actually got in the uncanny humans was a kind of side story with um uh, Max the Mad, Maximus the Mad. Um, this, so we had um, Storm finally making the decision um, of coming out of that limbo and coming back to Earth in, I guess, to, to fight the Inhumans and fight for her, her people, so to speak. So it'll be interesting to see where Lemire takes that story within the whole tie-in of um, Inhumans versus X-Men. Uh, Becky Cloonan's The Punisher, issue number eight and uh, this is the first issue that um, 
Dylan's art does not feature in any way. Um, he clearly had only drawn up to issue number seven. Now we've got new artists on here, Braga, Zanfardino and Martin on colours there. So the, the end of last issue we had him um, with a big shotgun in his face by an old crone in the middle of nowhere. Is she friend or foe? We'll find out in this issue. Uh, finally, for Marvel, we head to the Spaceways and Star Wars. This is another of those interlude storylines where we uh, look back into um, the diaries and they seem to be very much, well, it's obviously going to be centred on Yoda, one of our favourite Jedi Knights. So really going to enjoy that. A um, couple from Dark Horse this week, uh, Matt Kent returns with issue 10 of Department H and I just wonder what more Matt Kent can throw at our poor main character Mia who hasn't had a chance to solve her daddy's murder yet because she's been trying to survive through all the calamities and catastrophes that have been going on since she made it to this uh, science laboratory at the bottom of the ocean but it's been fun it's been an exciting read um, and clearly I've been probably missing up off on a lot of the clues on who is who is the culprit in this book but it's been an enjoyable read nonetheless. Um, on to issue six of Colin Byrne and Sergio Davila's Conan the Slayer. Um, I don't know how much longer this has to go. I don't know if this is an ongoing because as I was just kind of look, starting getting ready for this, um, this video, I had a quick sneak peek at the end. I don't know why I do this. I don't recommend you look at the last page of any comic before you've read it. And I did do it twice today and I'll explain why I did it on another one in a minute but uh, there's no to be continued there's no kind of this is like the end of story one and next week it's Lena, next month it's blah 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 um, so I don't know if that's it I, I need to go and look at the solicitations for Dark Horse over the next few months. Hopefully this is still going on because I love me some Conan um, with the loincloths and the swords and the battling and the slashing and the bloodletting. Great stuff. Uh, finally, I have three books from Image. Um, chapter issue 42 of Saga, Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vaughan's um, soap opera-esque comic book and this is the other book that I had a peek at the end again I don't know why I think it's more to know if it's going on hiatus or not but what I saw at the end and I don't think I'm going to be spoiling anything here because there really is nothing to set to um, to spoil but these back pages one two Three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven pages of pure black. There's no art on there whatsoever. Um, it's fine that this is a two ninety nine comic, but I don't pay two ninety nine for seven pages of blackness. Not a single word, well, on one of the pages there are like two words. And I don't care how poignant, I don't care how traumatic, I don't care how much of a cliffhanger we have at the end of this issue. Seven pages of black paper. No. No. Not having it. Uh, moving on to issue four of Mark Millar and Greg Capullo's Reborn. I... I need to check. I can't remember getting issue three. I probably did, but it, maybe there's been a bit of a gap and I've forgotten. Uh, and plus, I thought this was just a four issue mini series, but there is definitely a to be continued here. So, I don't know. I'm glad there is more of this because I couldn't imagine how the story could be wrapped up so quickly in four issues so but just look at that cover replace her put Batman in you've got a Batman cover that 
it, I mean, okay, it's Greg Capullo, and we've kind of got used to him drawing Batman over the last five or so years, but that's just a Batman cover. It's just got our kind of lead protagonist of this book in there instead. But still, Greg Capullo, great artist, uh, with colours from um, uh, Jonathan Glampian and FCO. So, great stuff. Uh, finally, the uh, Image Anthology series curated by Brandon Graham and Emma Rios. It's um, Island. Always a pleasure to read this. Some great different art in here. You've got plenty of different stories. There's some Donald Rimple artwork and you kind of go from that great kind of Donald Rimple artwork to very kind of cartoony, comic booky art from whatever story that is. There's quite a few stories in here. Um, then you get this kind of anthropomorphic type of artwork there. Um, what else have we got in here because and that's the great thing about Ireland is that you get oh that looks exciting um, you get so many different kind of artistic styles in here and it's just a great read and it kind of lets you in on different art styles and different creators that you might not be um, aware of and and hopefully will make you want to go and search out more of their work or or tell Brandon Graham on Twitter that get this guy some more work or get this woman some more work that they need to be shown off more so just a great package to show off uh, new artists that are doing something different something more interesting than your kind of regular big top artists and writers Whew, that's all of it so over the next few days I'm going to have a comic book haul for you, I'm going to have my Sunday comic book review video for you. I've got, a, if you've seen my Twitter, I received something from a, um, a comic book creator which uh, was very kind of him to send to me. I might do a quick video showing you that in a little bit more detail. Um, and I'm also doing uh, very soon a Q&A, but the Q&A is uh, a little bit different and it's more thematic. Uh, I know a couple of weeks ago I asked for questions and one of my subscribers did a lot about, did a lot of questions focusing on people who are just getting into comics uh, and that's what I want to theme that Q&A about. So if you have any questions as a new comic book reader or you can think of some questions that um, would be interesting to answer as if you were a new comic book reader and that would help other people out then that is going to be my q and I've got the whole weekend to myself um, my partner has gone away for the weekend so I'm going to have plenty of time to do lots of video goodness to put up here on YouTube so remember if you don't want to miss out on any of that goodness and you're not already hit the subscribe button give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know you're enjoying what I'm putting out there and in the comment section down below let me know what you picked up this week I didn't even look at any of the other books on the shelves this week when you've got 13 books already on your pull list you're not going to be picking up anything else that week so let me know what I missed out thank you all for watching for supporting my channel and being there for me thank you so much and I'll see you very soon bye bye